Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to the third episode of Dread Zone Friends on uh, the island Ark Ascended. Um, this episode's pretty whack. Uh, we go all over the place. Uh, we go to the bottom of the ocean at some points, going through rivers, going through caves. Uh, we do get a fair bit, bit covered really. But uh, yeah, there's a few little tips here and there and there too. It's pretty cool. Um, but overall, pretty successful few days this one. Uh, there were there is actually a couple of glitches. Let's see if we can spot them. I definitely don't make them obvious. <laughs> Either way, they're pretty good. They're pretty funny. And um, yeah, sit back, enjoy, and have a laugh with us. <laughs> see you in there. So my first little outing for the day. I was uh, just going out getting drops and looking for things to tame and uh, just saw this gigantic salmon, absolutely massive and so that gave me an idea, I'm like, oh, haven't got an otter yet, have we? and so I was having a bit of a, a, bit of a look around for otters because they can be very handy uh, for those of you who don't know about them, they can uh, hold artifacts unlike most uh, or unlike any other creature in the game and uh, they're also really good for insulation as well and uh, these piranha, got to jump in the water to you know, piranhas and stuff sometimes. They will go for your spino, they'll go for pretty much any mount. But um, yeah, I was looking for looking for otters, so I had to stick close to the spino, as you can see. But um, otters, I wouldn't say they're rare, but they're not always everywhere. And also a bit, bit harder to see, you gotta, gotta get down there and have a look. And uh, yeah, this is what I was up to at the moment. Just waiting for more piranhas to come out of the woodwork as they like to. So I'm just standing around having a bit of a look. Wait to see the contrails, but luckily there was no more here. And uh, yeah, Otters is quite commonly in this little part, um, as well as beavers, so I was like, ooh, beaver dams, otters, either way is good. So yeah, once again, getting in there to look. So I didn't end up finding any otters, unfortunately. Uh, but we were still in need of getting pearls and uh, pearls are quite hard to find on this map um, like they, they are sort of everywhere but they're nowhere near as obvious as before so yeah got that psycho to do it try and look for them earlier and um, decided to go try and find one of these underwater caves because I believe this is the first time we had scuba gear um, so I was me checking it out before like <laughs> and actually seeing what it looked like wearing it and um, yeah just going off into the depths looking for those elusive pearls and um, those of you that have played the island before would know that there are some little hidden caves around the, the ocean um, that also have dossiers in them too so you do want to actually find them if you want to complete the, the dossiers and the notes and uh, so that's what I was looking for and as uh, Senator is quite different looking I wasn't exactly sure where it was going to be um, like I have a pretty good idea of where they are. It's been, been a while, but um, yeah, I have done them all before. But uh, it all looks so very, very different. So that's why. You see, I'm just checking out all the nooks and crannies, and uh, also having a good look because yeah, it's, it's so different. It looks very much like Gen One. Like if you've played uh, through the Ark series, the, the maps are very different each one, and Gen One really brought in the underwater biome. To make it look really, really nice like this. Lots of coral that you can harvest, big glow in the dark ones, bioluminescent ones, and everything. It's, um, yeah, it's a whole new world down here. And, um, yeah, it's now on, I'm assuming every map ocean will be like this. And, uh, yes, there's sharks everywhere. <laughs> Let's go. But I was near the area that it spawned, oh, it spawns, where the cave is. And so yeah, I really was trying to find find any sort of indication. Usually there's bubbles bubbling out of it, like quite large, and pretty obvious. Um, 
but yes, yeah, so I wasn't exactly sure if that was going to be the, the signifier of the cave being around as anglerfish. Definitely tame one of them later. And eels, oh lord. Eels are the worst. Oh, and they're so loud as well. Give you a bit of a, a bit of a scare sometimes when you don't expect them. Let's blast you. After about 30 minutes or so of looking for the damn cave, we finally found it. And the easiest way to find them is that cool glowing uh, little coral seaweed, whatever you want to call it down there. So that's what you got to look out for if you want to find these caves. They look so cool. The tribe that calls themselves the Howling Wolves has really made this northern adventure a lot easier. Well, them and Athena. She's right at home here. I don't think I'll ever be able to repay Rockwell for just up and giving me an Argentavis. He's said our conversations are payment enough, but I still feel guilty. I should remember to collect some floral samples for him while I'm here. Anyway. Tagging along with the wolves has been a good introduction to the region, but I think I'm ready to make my own way. To make real scientific conclusions, I need to observe these animals undisturbed in their natural habitat for long periods of time. So I found the pearls, and for some reason couldn't pick them up, so I was trying all kinds of things here, because usually you should be able to pick them up with your hands. Um, but yeah, for some reason I couldn't here. But, uh, Apparently Paul had been in some caves, oh, I don't think it was, he'd done it yet, but he, he went and found some later and he was able to pick them up in those ones. So either this cave is glitched, or they've fixed it since, because I haven't been back here since, and uh, you can now do it. But there's a fair few pearls around the place, and um, yeah, oil and crystal as well, and um, yeah, and a dossier, as you heard. That time again, eh, chaps? Organic polymer and murdering penguins like a monster. <laughs> but how cool is this place? It looks so nice. It's the main reason why I filmed it. Not so much so you could watch the mutilation of poor defenseless penguins, <laughs> uh, but the the actual snow and the ice and the water, just everything. It's it's yeah, so many cool vast biomes and. You know, oh, that one almost got away. <laughs> Here's a little nifty trick for you. When you want to renew a, a spoiled stack, or almost spoiled, just split a good one and add the, the almost spoiled ones onto them and just reset the timer. Works for meat. Anything that spoils is good. And here I am making gunpowder and narcotics. Just use up some of that last of my little XP boost from the dossiers. So yeah, just getting some stuff done because yeah, I didn't really have much gunpowder or running light at this point. 
just sort of just making it when I needed it. Now I'm finally starting to make a little bit of a, a stockpile. Not like Paul. Paul loves to have vaults full of everything as soon as possible. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm more concerned with making beer. <laughs> Mainly because you use them to uh, tame one of my favourite creatures in the game. But I uh, haven't got any of those just yet. But we've got a good amount of beer now. I just gotta spend the time making the glasses so we can uh, bottle it up. But yeah, this is our little, little pub. And we end up uh, using this as our communal area later on. You'll, you'll see that later. And over here we have the, the dino barn. Just finished building it not too too long before. And uh, it's big enough to hold all my all my my boys and girls in here for now. It's pretty good. All the essentials there, Yankee and Dodie. Very important. Allosaurs we got from before. A few of the other bits and pieces in here. And uh, my wood collectors. <laughs> my little wood train. But yeah, it's a good size. It'll do for now. And uh, that's the, the start of my little part of the village. It continues to grow, of course. And uh, it's probably going to become pretty big. And uh, just down from the little cliff bit I'm, I'm building on, started uh, building my... Well, we can all use it, of course, but uh, I do like making little docks so we can put all the, the sea teams in there safely. Because there's always spino, uh, spinos, yeah. Always got piranhas and, and megalodons spawning in everywhere. And like one way you can do it, uh, which sometimes I do if I can't be bothered building anything, is uh, you just sort of have one relatively tough creature, just name it Anchor, and um, have a saddle on it so that you can whistle for all the other creatures to follow it. And you set them all on attack, but make the Anchor passive. And that way the all the other dinos or creatures, whatever they are, We'll, we'll protect the protect each other, fight to kill anything that attacks them, and the anchor just stays passive, just stays there, stays put. So once the the group has killed whatever's attacking them, uh, they'll swim back to the anchor, and um, yeah, not go get lost out in the middle of nowhere, as sharks like to do if you sort of let them do whatever they want to do. Yeah, you're not going to have a a pack of sharks for long that way. But yeah, I decided to to get busy, do some building, and uh, make us a dock to, to secure them. But it was a bit cold, as you can see. So every now and then I had to go back up to, to Big Boy and warm up. Also, it was a good piranha uh, killer, because there were a few here and there. But it's coming along, it's coming along.
again get getting beetles. Come on little fella. Pathing isn't the best in these tunnels. No. Nope. Gotta start that far. <laughs> it's been all me all me crystal to make the uh, greenhouse, so get that kibble happening. Made my first kibble. Three whole kibble. So I'm going to tame Baronix. Hopefully it's still there. Let's go have a look. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Oh, you leave it up there. Well, that was odd. Somebody. I've actually had. Oh, that is still in the back of my spino. And like, angled him up so his tail's up in the air. Yeah. I could just like sit up on the tail, too high for the Baronix to get, and I just kept drinking it. Getting the baryonyx, it was uh, time to go to the water, and uh, so I've been taming some some megalodons. I believe this was the second one, I think. Yeah, you can see on the map there. Yep, I already tamed one. Uh, little indicators there, and um, yeah, I was looking for a little baby so I could get some primate to, to tame it up because I didn't have kibble good enough for sharks. They need superior kibble, which is uh, mainly RG and Alisol eggs are probably the main ones I use to, to make those. Around the back of the barrier. We didn't have them yet. <laughs> got, a, got bloody, got me flippers and everything still on. <laughs> and I'm on land. We'll get it out for water. Water yeah. sport. The RG is carrying a dinosaur that has, say, or stone on it. Does he have that weight? Uh, no, no. So it actually has to be in his inventory? Uh, yes, and only, like, stone or stuff. Yes. It's not wooden things. Um, oh, no wood? Stone? No, yep. not wood, unfortunately. It'd be really good if they did. 
Uh, mammoths. Mammoths and beavers are the best for wood. Okay. Oh, I'm harvesting um, stone uh, anyway, so... Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, he won't have the stone oh. in anyone else's inventory, only his. Sorry, Dalai Mum. I hate your children. <laughs> Rough. Yeah, I'm like specifically looking for babies as well. I feel like yeah. a monster. <laughs> Jellyfish. It's gonna be a terrible experiment. Good and badly. Yep. Oh my god, it doesn't stun them. Oh wow. It hurts them, but doesn't stun them. Yeah, jellyfish are horrible. Just stay away from them, eh? Shoot them with your crossbow to get rid of them. Oh, they don't have levels anymore. Okay, so that's good. Really if we shoot you to have levels and um, yeah, some of them can be really tough. Yep. Quite hard to kill. Yeah, when you kill them you can harvest them and they give you um, jelly toxins and they're really good narcotics. Okay. Like really good. So uh, after being down here for a while, taming megalodons and such, I kept seeing all the oil nodes and thought, we really should get a Dunkley, because uh, these fellas are really, really good at getting getting oil, um, and metal as well, um, but of course only underwater. But uh, so I was having a look around for one, found an OK level one, this is definitely good enough to uh, be an oil gatherer, and they're pretty slow, so it's pretty pretty good they've got huge torpidity though so it takes forever to, to put them to sleep and my crossbow uh well I can't remember how good it was at this point it was probably around the 150 percent damage range maybe a little bit higher and um yeah this was going on for quite some time and uh, i had another one after me so I had to sort of dodge them both and as you see here we're going a bit deeper and anglerfish since i decided to join in <laughs> so it's a bit of a Bit of struggle, just doing circles, tranking as much as I can, but it's all going to be worth it. It's all gone well, till this moment. I thought it was just a frame rate drop for a second, so I just left it, but I was wrong. Oh no, I think it's got a shooter error. I'm gonna reset it. Oh, 
That's bad. So long story short, it was a shooter error, and uh, I drowned. Couldn't find my little baggie. Must have gone to the bottom of the ocean somewhere. So I lost all my gear. But the donkey went to sleep with that final shot, luckily. So it's taming now. And uh, so I brought the sh sharks home. The barrier was still alive, which is good. And uh, these little ickies uh, followed me into the... Ickies? Itchies? Whatever. No, ickies? Yeah, ickies you saw. Yeah, they followed me in, so I thought I'd tame them. Complimentary prize for losing all my stuff. <laughs> yes, one tame. So yeah, once you feed them, you see, have you noticed how they swim up to you when you're in the water? No. If you're in the water near the ichthyosaurs, they'll swim up to you and like pest you because they want food. And, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, once you feed them, they'll then swim off. And every now and then they'll come back to you. But if you follow them around, yeah, you, you just keep feeding them. And um, yeah, it's just passive taming. Yeah, I've not um, spent a lot of time in the water. It's very frightened. <laughs> Okay, two of the lichthyosaurs. <laughs> Just how insane the blue is it down here. It's so cool, because you go down and you're looking around and stuff and Sharks and anything just can come out of anywhere. It's like, yeah, quite spooky. Once you're on a mount and you got your scuba gear, you feel relatively safe. Safe enough that you'll be able to get away from anything that attacks you. But, uh, yeah, the Dunkley, I was just about to start feeding it and uh, got up shortly after because I'd been, we'd been sitting there for quite a while. Well, you got better gear and a mount this time. But if you're in trouble, all you do is you get by. Oh, I forgot to get my demoth on. Just get behind the barry. I forgot to get my Medorphodon. What? Medorphodon? To be fair, I should have let you um, carry my uh, Demophodon. So I don't think my Demophodon would attack from my shoulder. Nah. No. Oh. Uh, why not? Oh, because you're too high. Yeah. I think they've also changed the way um, uh, riders get hit as well. Because I got hit the other day. I got, me myself got stunned from a Triceratops charge on the back of this Barry. Uh, which, which I, yeah, which I don't have a problem with, really. I, I think no, that's But yeah, it was okay. surprising. I was like, oh snap, I just got hit by that Triceratops instead of the Barry. Yeah, I think the only, the, the only thing I have an issue with is when you get, um, yeah, I don't know, like, targeted. Oh, also drop to the left, so we'll grab that first, then we'll go right. Where are you, Paul? Alright. Uh, I'm not sure. Alright, here we go. Alright, good. Oh, good. We'll, we'll just really grab this drop down here. Yeah. Uh, also, down here, we'll just kill it. I also have a uh, yep, crossbow on me if you want it. It's not good, but you can. Do you have a crossbow on you now? Or... Who, me? Did, did you end up picking that, like, just a random crossbow up to bring with you or not? Chain? What? Crossbow. Crossbow? I've, I've got a couple of crappy ones. Ah, okay. Well, this one will be better then. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh. Any good? Uh, we got a... Uh, Ascendant Mantra Saddle and <laughs> blue pin, blueprints for Ascendant Hide Pants. What armor are they? Armor 154. Oh, nice. 352 yeah. durability. Hell yeah, it's better than flak. Cheaper too, because it's high. Oh. Very nice. Alright. What? Oh, you scared me. It's all good. Oh. 
thought you were one of the dung beetles. <laughs> That's a fair statement. <laughs> Alright, that megalania. Let's do Oh, actually. Um, so give everyone a couple of antidotes. Mm -hmm. Chuck chuck uh, a couple of my Barry and I'll grab them off him. A couple yep. of That war paint doesn't look bad. It's pretty good. Uh, split. So if I go split three. Okay. Three. What the hell? I had six. Oh no. No, I'm an idiot. Never mind. Only two. Yeah, so take that away. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, here you go. Is two, and I'll hold one now. All right, hold six, it. two each. I'm you such an idiot. Yeah. Yeah. You grab the one off the barry. We have two each. Got it. All right, so if anyone gets mega rabies, um, just communicate. Don't drink the thing straight away. So we need to split up first to make sure no one is in range of each other, and then anyone that has it drinks it. Because if you drink it, you'll cause someone and they get it, and you drink it, and they still have it, and then they give it back to you. You're just wasting. So. Yep. So if anyone cool. gets mega yeah. rabies, yeah, just yeah, shout out. Right. In fairness, yeah. I was going to say, in fairness, I got 340 health, I may survive it. Yeah, we probably will, but it's still not what I deal with. No, of course. Are we, um, um, are we shooting him, are we? Yeah, yeah, oh, let's bring him down. Ready? Let's see what, this is my ascendant rifle. Oh. That didn't actually tell me that. Up. What did it say it did for you? Sorry. It was like 452 or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't, I wasn't looking up. Because, yeah, we also want Megalanias, kill Megalanias because they give us another um, tribute thing. Megalania toxin or something you need for uh, the boss fights. So if we do see any, we want to kill them for that. Mega Lady, really rare. Oh, that's a. Oh, man. Megalosaur? No, no, I took Plura. We got some fights coming. Nanny? Oh, this center rifle's pretty sick. Right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna headshot that other Plura. Hang on. Should kill him one go. <laughs> oh, wow. Nice. The dung beetles? Yeah, that's definitely. Um, I tried turning some settings down in um the in the game. Oh my god, my CPU says it's 60 degrees. Oofed. Right, so everyone already got that dossier to the left. Saw his little face. Yeah. Then I saw his face. It was just I'm a, a dreamer. Oh, I said I was a dreamer. What you said was. Oh, I hit him. Don't be. Did we get this far? Did we, we get uh, our last round? Quiz saddle and a blueprint for an ascended wooden club. <laughs> oh, really? Ooh. Yes, yeah. pick it up. That wooden club. Oh my god, polymer for days. Yeah, before you move, Shane, uh, I just put a better um, crossbow and some more, ex more extra, some more arrows on your thing there. So. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, the, they're they're just what crossbow. I've been picking up off the dudes. Thank you. And I. Pretty sure I have a better one at home, so that's just what I got. Yep, that's I'll right. That's huge help. Stuff everywhere. You guys want to shoot down the left there? I'll do with it. Oh, oh, oh. Always wait for that. Yeah, probably not this side though. Oh no, I can see them, they're coming up. <laughs> so I think I've got them locked. There's a few. Do I hear a bat?
quiet. That's two dead bodies. I think we're done, though. Maybe? Uh, are they piranhas, or...? Oh shit, snakes. Whoa! But if he's oh, nice. Yep. Few of these out. Oh my god, there's even more across the river. Oh, they saw you. <laughs> um, Titan Venom, grab that. Oh no, you shot him! That does ridiculous damage. Oh yeah, when you oh, range weapons, we no. shoot damage to uh, them. Don't go in the water. There are so many piranhas. That was Um <laughs> Yeah. Oh. oh I got I got out of there but I heard from here. Something's stuck in the wall here. is my specialty. Your specialty is your specialty. Um, uh. What off the over there? Uh, I'm assuming it's not safe. But, oh, what's that colourful thing in the water? I'm being very, very careful with this uh, shotgun, by the way. Should be fine. Be more careful yeah, aiming at us, like the Barry should be fine. Oh, are there any Megalania on the roof? Huh. I haven't been looking. Well, it's pretty high, so that's why I haven't been looking. Oh, so what I was saying is I turned off some settings, um, like, uh, what is it, not, um, the one you always switch off anyway, motion blur, I, I had switched that off yep. anyway, so that's fine, um, but I also switched off, um, looms and the other one, which yeah. sadly, sadly Above you. looked Good, amazing. Yeah. Above you now, Megalania. 
Alright, he's so far up. Oh, right. uh... Do we just ignore him? No, we want oh, you want to get him? I want his toxin, yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, it hasn't made no difference to the game running. Oh, there's one behind Ooh, you, one behind one. you. Alright, have you guys got my gravies? Uh, yes. Yep, alright, split up. Alright. I didn't hit you with any of those uh, shotgun blasts, did I, Shane? Oh, this is a cooldown. Hey, okay, cool. So I think why you've drunk the, the, the antidote. Oh, I don't think so. Um, yeah, no, cool, cool. Good. So what's the cooldown for? I don't know. When you drink it, there's a cooldown. So I'm assuming while that's on, you don't, you can't get diseases. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Um, that's cool. I'm trying to decide whether I should drink mine or just. Okay. Uh... Otherwise, you're gonna get wasted. I can't put them in. All the right. Fridge. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just drink it. All right. Yeah. Done. Done. Cool. Yeah. Uh, there's dossier over here, guys. Okay. So in addition to all of the oddities I found with wild megalodons. Here's the real cherry on top. Taming up. them is a piece of piss. Uh, okay. A bit of training, and they're more obedient than the family dog. Now, I've heard of sharks getting very rudimentary training nice. over a year or so. But not to this extent. Certainly not so easily. Sharks aren't mammals That's or even funny. avians. They're training fish. is a piece of piss. They rely yeah. more on instinct. Or to put it simply, they're not very smart. You shouldn't be able to ride one like a jet ski. I'm trying to keep an open mind like Rockwell suggested, but this just feels wrong. Had we... Had we gone all the way up there? Yeah. There's like ruins up here. Yeah, that's where we came. That's a roundabout. So come down the way I am. This is where the last us here is. Ah, uh, I see. We'll, we'll go back up that way, go back through the other way again. See if there's any drops and stuff. Don't worry, Owen. I've been playing this game for ages and no one gets lost quite like this I do. The simplest map. <laughs> it is different though, slightly. Uh, uh, right. Whoa, an ascendant ammonia saddle, 188 defense, and then ascendant hide boots, 175%. Oof. Sorry, 175 defense. Okay. okay. And then a, a, a stone pickaxe, three hundred fifty-seven percent. At the window with that. That's high, though. It is, but it's going to get nothing. Yeah. All right, you have to go the dust here. Yes. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It is difficult to be angry with Himentaria Leaders, despite its rather terrible nature. The creature has practically no intelligence, and just attaches oh, to any nearby living flesh in an attempt to drain that creature's blood. Removing Himentaria requires precision oh, blade work, uh, or access to an open flame. Both of these can be nearly as dangerous to the host as to the leech itself. Once Himentaria attaches to a host, it drains blood at a rapid pace, and the host pants? experiences hunger, loss of health, and lowered stamina. There. Some Hementoria uh, are also gonna, carriers for a dangerous disease I've them. dubbed Swamp Fever, <laughs> which persists them. beyond okay. the leech's own lifespan. Few creatures on the island as, are transmitted for this disease, and it can ultimately yep. be oh, cured no. with a rare medicine. Oh, well done, While Hementoria is not intelligent Your enough friends. to be tamed, it is always useful to keep a few around for antidotes and fishing nets. When processed properly, Hementoria venom can be made into a powerful antivenom. Take shotgun. Alright, grab all them psycho skins. I'm gonna jump in there and kill all the piranhas. Why do they go for me and not you? Evidently. You were standing up the front. Yeah. I feel, uh, 
so many. I think we got them all. I've got two. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, that, they don't drop literally two, like thirty. Run is getting run next. So. Uh, yeah, they do, which, which kind of makes them a little bit manageable in a way. Yeah, but also annoying at the same time. Uh, I had a fight with a, a Stingray, and same thing as the Prana, I find if you swim in like tight circles, uh, like sort of like chasing its tail, you can actually, you're, you're not doing too bad. You can there's actually sort of come out of it okay. No drops in here, but there's a lot of crystal. Yeah, I didn't, I'm on the other side here, I don't know. Oh, it's a metal, and it's obsidian as well down here. Well, I'm pretty sure we can definitely get an Anki in here now, but it's maybe yeah. not worth it. Pretty crazy how much is in here. Oh, uh, we can swim over to the other area over here. Yep. Jump. I gotta get something done about that heat. Alright, see if you can, um... Big ones. Well, there was a, a bit in there, wasn't there? <laughs> Got a couple of uh, bolts in the Barry's head. No, no, well, definitely wasn't me that time. I just saw a dinosaur and started shooting. Oh, I think I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm not. Oof, shouldn't be. Yeah, I was really stuck there. Alright, lots of half of furs. Lots. Alright, definitely pull back. I have a strange Likewise. memory of thinking this was over last time and then sticking our heads in there and immediately getting bitten by something. <laughs> One in the roof. Oh. Oh no, that's a dunk beetle. Oh. oh, it's 140! Got a bit of speed on you. Another one. Or if you feed Stimberries here, Barry, that, that hole. There we go. Oh, it's done there. And with that, a uh, little beetle we, we tamed, that brings it up to three. And uh, it has definitely helped us make a little greenhouse. We're going to make one each so everyone has a go. And uh, this is my little one. Got, I think, four, four crops of each. Each type of uh, fruit and veg. 
and um, yeah, just get some green lighting in there, makes it look nice. And uh, for now, they're just a little dung beetles are, are living in here until everyone sort of has one happening. But uh, yeah, we'll stop here because uh, the next sort of adventures is pretty hectic. It's straight into it in the next episode, and uh, we'll bring that out pretty soon, actually. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe and follow all the other jazz to continue following us in our fun adventures of Ark Ascended. Until next time, catch you guys.